Hello, welcome back to my plot. Today I want to talk about potatoes. I want to show you my soil. I've dug this oh, a couple of weeks ago. Look at that! Look at the tilt on that! <laughs> it's not very fine. It's not the finest tilt you've ever seen, but I'm not worried. The other thing I want to say about this soil is that I spent quite a lot of time digging it and I found about six worms, which it's is pretty poor. But I'm not worried because I put potatoes in here and what and potatoes good. will do is they will put their roots through the soil and I will spend some time bashing the soil up to earth the potatoes up and that will break it up too and I have a suspicion that in the late summer when I'm digging this patch over again I'm going to be delighted by the tilth on it. Delighted? I'll come back and find out. <laughs> the other thing I want to talk about potatoes is over here. These, hang on, are little potatoes that I grew last year from potato seeds. Mm. Not seed potato, potato seeds and they grow little plants and I forgot to plant them out but then when I came to empty the pots I found lots of little tubers in so I saved them to plant this year. These are salad blue. Mm. Are they actually blue? Well you can see that they are. Oh hang on I might have to have a come it. And uh, the shoots are kind of purple coloured. Wow that's amazing. So I'm going to plant these in containers. I'm a bit scared about putting them in the ground because they're so small. So all I'm going to do is I've filled these trugs up about a third of the way, quarter to a third of the way with the uh, peat free compost and I'm just going to stick them in and then as they grow, hopefully they will, I'm going to cover them up with more compost and with a bit of luck by the end of the year I'll have a wonderful pot full of potatoes. Now, the, the, the musical interlude that you're hearing in the background, we've got no idea what that is. It's an it's ice cream, ice cream man. Well, there's a lot, you know. And, and they're telling us that Hitler's only got one ball, I think. No, no, I think you might, might find it's a sandwich van going to some of the factories around here. Oh, that could be right. Yeah. They are often in need of sandwiches on Saturday. Right, I'm not going to plant all of these because there just isn't space in the truck. I'm just going to plant more than I would if they were full-size seed potatoes because I'm not really convinced they're going to work. Although there's no reason in the world why they shouldn't. But I'm going to plant loads of these little blue ones because I really, really, really want at least some of them to grow. I'm very excited about blue potatoes. These pink ones oh, pink. are from King Edward seeds. Wow. And so are these white ones. Ah, and they... the blue ones are all from um, Salad Blue seeds. Did the uh, King Edward, Edward's cross pollinate thing? Well, I don't know, but when I grew King Edward's here on my allotment last year, they turned out sort of white with pink blotches. They look like boobies because they were white with pink blotches at the end, like uh, <laughs> areola. Oh. Anyway, yeah, that's a few potatoes in there, which is great. And now, just want to show you some more things on my lawn because I've been quite busy this month. Look, look at all this. Look at these beautiful thick ones. I'm not going to harvest any this year. I'm going to leave them till next year and hopefully we'll just have a wonderful harvest next year. I'm so jealous of your asparagus bed. I can hardly speak. <laughs> the purple ones, they sort of started coming up. Look, there's that one, but they haven't done very well. And I think it's just because the, because the weather's been so dry. So I'm going to give them a really good drink in a little while. Here next to the asparagus it did have raspberries in it, but one of the lessons I've learned is that raspberries and asparagus do not mix. The raspberries creep under the ground and they just pop up everywhere and it's really hard to weed in amongst asparagus at the best of times so I've decided to lift those raspberries um, I've got plenty of summer raspberries at the back of the allotment so I'm probably going to put those in a plant those properly in a pot to get this year's harvest and then just compost what's left unless anybody else wants them <laughs> and in, in the patch where the raspberries were I'm going to be growing some glow bath chokes which I've kindly donated me a couple of seedlings and I'm also going to put some strawberries in there. I think they'll be a bit easier to control than the raspberries. So I'm going to do that now. Globe artichokes. I grew these from seeds. I'm very proud. What variety are they? They mm -hmm. are green something. <laughs> <laughs> they're green, they're not purple. Green goddess, green bum face. I've got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> green delight. Green delight. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pot them in the soil. The tilt is pretty rubbish as well, but we'll just do our best with it. 
And the nice thing about artichokes, globe artichokes, is that in the new year they will put out little babies and we won't need to buy any more seeds, hurrah! Which is if they survive over the winter, um, in frosty climates they don't always survive. So we'll have to try and give them a bit of extra protection, hope for the best. They are in theory perennials, but in practice it doesn't always work like that. Well, I'll be excited so just to get one, to be honest. I'm just going to do my best to give them some firm ground to grow in. It's a bit difficult with the lumpy earth. We've had so little rain, everything's like concrete. Ah. We are due some rain this weekend, apparently. Well, they said we were due some rain on Monday last week, but we never had any. Mm. So I'll believe it when I see it. It rains and rains and rains and rains and rains when you don't want it. Easter weekend it rained so much. Now we could do with a bit of rain just to soften the ground and help the plants grow. And we've got nothing. Boo. Can you show us the rest of your allotment? Yes, I've got some, some delights I'd like to show you. <laughs> this here. Hang on, I'm just filming the children being funny. <laughs> this, is, this is the allotment ban. <laughs> Oh. oh, that's so funny. This here is um, a frame to put some netting over for my brassicas to keep the cabbage whites off. If you look down here, what I've done is I've got some canes, just put them in the ground, cut some blue pipe to the right length and just slotted them over. Easy peasy. I want to have a go at that. Where did you get your blue pipe from? Oh, DIY shop. All I would say is be careful how you cut your pipe because if you do it with a saw, you end up with um, lacerated hands. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. And how did you cut, cut it up? With a saw. <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking from experience. Okay. Oh, look at this. No, First of, now, hang on. Though. What's going on here? That's garlic. Garlic's looking really good. It does look amazing. Well, is it nearly ready? Can we have garlic? It'll be ready in probably about July, thereabouts. Poo. I can't wait. This I want is my food. bean frame. I've just got some uh, two by one batons, pressure treated wood, screwed them together. Easy peasy. It's amazing. It took about half an hour. The only thing I had to cut was these bits across here because cut that, that in half to make the end pieces. And the rest just screwed them together, literally. It's not very elegant, but it, I hope it will do the job. And uh, Bailey's wine, always used around the allotment. Don't believe anyone who laughs at you when you get excited about a mother load of Bailey's wine <laughs> that you found in a mush heap. Well, I did laugh <laughs> and watch her carefully untangling it, but she was very excited. But then I can't really be that worried about getting excited about many drugs I get excited about squash. One last thing to show you with my magic Bailey's wine. It's behind my shed what where no one can that? see it. I've just put some screws in, hung some loops of baling twine, and there, ta-da! Oh, that's really tiny. good. And that means I've got far less stuff cluttering up my shed. So it's been a big, big, huge DIY month for me this month. Last thing, down here. I've oh! Humphrey, doing really well. I planted that just some roots um, last year. Got some gnomes as well. And some very happy gnomes. <laughs> That's it. Thank Goodbye. you.